Live. Oh, are you live now? Oh, yeah. It's oh, happening. Yeah, Welcome okay. aboard, friends. We got natural light. Trevor's over there. We're going to get this all set up. We're eight, seven minutes early, so give us a break. I might swap the camera around like this for maximum. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's what we want. Sweet. All right, let me go over to the YouTubes. Judson Graham, the Judson Graham show. I show up as Judson Paramotor. It's the first thing that happens when you type it in. Nice. That's sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. We're live. Hi, comment section. Can everyone hear me? Is there nothing poor going on in the um, sound department? In the past, we've had some problems in the sound department, so let me know if that's the situation. You want to slide in? Let's see if I can fit. Oh, yeah. I got to wait like five seconds to see. Sounds pretty good. Oh. There he I is. kind of fit. I got him halfway in. Hey, can you show a little more? I think this is it. I think this is the, the, the game this changer. Is, this is the move. Awesome. Hey, everybody. We have five minutes before this officially starts and everyone officially gets in. But I'm here with Trevor, who I'm about to fly 1,200 miles, 1,100 miles, probably more like 1,200 probably gonna divert quite a bit yeah across the craziest terrain in the country and i've been receiving a lot of questions about this and i've also wanted to explain a lot more about what's going on before we go do it so as you're following along um you know what the heck's going on and then just talk kind of about our plan of attack and the goodies we just bought at cabela's and the, the goodies we're gonna more go goodies. buy at rei more goodies yeah. Awesome. I'm just hopeful that I can get my paramotor back into one piece before we go. Oh, yeah. Is it still in pieces? Oh, yeah, dude. All the pieces are So there. Trevor's paramotor is in pieces. Drama <laughs> for the video. Uh, my paramotor is looking so... Yeah, it's just looking way too good in that So guy. good right now. Um, the scout is like... I. It got, uh, it got burning manned, covered in dust, and I went through it, found an air compressor at a car wash, blasted it all out, and then hit it with a microfiber and vinegar because the dust was is like alkali, so acid neutralizes it. And then, yeah. It worked pretty well. Did it? Yeah. Vinegar, and then, because the vinegar actually like- Like how much vinegar? Like 50-50 dilute in a spray bottle. Really? Uh, and then I hit it with um like orange pledge on a- Thing on the carbon it does look good it looks so good <laughs> I don't, like i've never done that before it looks so good i can just imagine my dad sat in the garage and stared at it last night it it's glorious so good so sexy um and then we got the scout adventure wingman bag thingies drop a venmo so you can help um i will get you that i will put that in the in the description of this video after it's done because i can't do that Right meow. All right, what are we at with time? We got three minutes. I'm going to grab water super quick. I. Um, it's up to I, you. You keep the people entertained. Keep the people entertained, dude. You're asking way too much of me right now. It's too early for this. It's like 12 in the afternoon. It's okay. I, 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 I know. Okay, so we're, we're in Salt Lake City, Utah. We are currently at uh, my dad's place here. Winging it, Woody. You know what? Listen, winging it. All right. Hey. I don't want to hear any of that sass, okay? Is there, what's winging it? What are you saying? He said I'm he's bored. already bored. Oh my god, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. You better be a salt and sea winging it. We better see you there. I want to, fly, I want to rip around on your uh, car, we'll trade. You can fly my, uh, my Viper boy. Trevor, can you describe the size of your parts bin? Hi, Matt. The size of it? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's like approximately yay big and yay tall. I'm gonna measure it and send you dimensions later. Don't worry, don't worry. I just haven't uh, gotten to it. His, hey, uh, Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Yeah, his motor's like in pieces. The starter's in, off of it. It's pretty, yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty beat up. Like it's not, um, I wouldn't say you could currently fly it at No, all. it doesn't start right now. It doesn't have a starter and the harness is currently not attached. It really wouldn't go well if you strapped that on your back and tried to fly. Figured out. Hi, dad. What's up, Judson and Trevor? Hi, everyone. Um, when we get um, to 12 o'clock, we'll start answering questions. If anyone has any early entry questions, um, drop them in right now and uh, we'll answer them. 
But right now I'm gonna get hydrated. Get hydrated. Will you be running bladders for extra fuel? Hi, buddy. Um, we, I am going to be running a bladder that is not attached, so I'll have to land. So I'm gonna be carrying three gallons of gas plus. <laughs> That's gonna be heavy. Right? Yeah, two gallons of bonus. Trevor has four gallons. Basically, we're just thinking fly for three-ish hours, land, refuel. It's, it's the, not... the distance daily is only like 105, 10 miles, because I think we have to cover 325 every three days. Yeah. We so... should probably like outline what's going to happen before we get into like how we're going to take fuel. What do you mean outline what happened? Like just say like this is what the Adventure Wingman is and like what we're going to do. We're going to fly. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can talk about it. I mean, uh... Tell us your planned route from Lake Tahoe to Vegas. We'll you peeing in a bottle or just letting it go? You gotta let it go, Caleb. You just gotta. Let it go. You have to get out of the harness, initiate a turn, and then pee to the side and hope that you don't hit your prop. Yes. Yeah, that's the move. Have you ever peed in flight? No, I haven't. But Chris Santa Croce gave me the rundown in the back Did he? room. At the back, in the back. Oh, room. in the back room. He took me around. He's like, hey, "Did he man. show you?" He, no, he didn't show oh, me. Good. <laughs> no, because we were talking about how to carry water. He's like, "Duck, you, you don't want to carry water. You want to hydrate beforehand, and then you got to figure out how to let it go in the air." And he's just like, "Envision yourself in a happy place, like the best restroom, and you're just gonna get out of that harness, and you're gonna." Did you forward. imagine being in turbulence though, and you're just getting absolutely <laughs> rocked, just trying to pee at the same time? All right, it's 12 p.m. in the Mountain Time, so we are starting this official video right now. Welcome to. The we're flying 1,100 miles unsupported on our paramotors scout adventure wingman challenge brought to you by Team Fly Halo freaking awesome paramotor craziest paramotor adventure I've ever been on in my life questions and answers and explanation time with Judson Graham and Trevor Steele who is uh, gonna be my partner on this trip okay that was it. Woody, my happy place is going to be peeing from the sky. When people say imagine your happy place, the happy right place there. is in the sky taking a pee. I, I don't know about you, but everywhere I land, I try and take a pee because I just think about how many places have you peed, you know? Just like the random You got a good spots. tally going. We definitely got a good tally. I have some good tallies and mods going. Third. Anyway, let's talk Adventure Wingman. So, as you know, I've been hanging out with Team Fly Halo. Not really hanging out, but... Uh, they've been sponsoring this channel for about six months now, allowing me to travel across the country and bring sick, awesome content to you guys. Uh, and something that Teamfly does is sponsor cool events like the Icarus Race and now the Scout Adventure Wingman Series. So what this is, is basically uh, Scout Aviation, Miro, the inventor of the Scout, has said, we want to come to the U.S. and fly a um, a really long paramotor cross-country event through the coolest places in the country. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. And um, kind of the outline of that is there will be, you will be unsupported for about four days at a time, right? Three. Three days at a time. It's broken up into three-day chunks as far as I understand. So it's going to be, you have to completely take care of yourself for those three days. That's fuel, that's food, that's problems, that's maintenance, that's everything. That's camping, sleeping. The third day, or every like three days, we'll have one day where everybody rendezvous together and stays in the same spot. If you do not make it to that spot by the third day, they will come pick you up and bring you there and help fix your gear uh, or whatever problems. So, so worst case scenario, you're stuck somewhere for three days. But the distance isn't that bad. I think you're only supposed to cover like 325-ish miles. In those three days. In those three days, maybe 350 because you're going 1,100 miles. So that Probably puts us in the chunks. slightly above 100 miles a day range, which is... Which 100 miles you can do on four gallons. Yes. And the cool thing about it being broken up like that, instead of doing it in a race style, is you're not really pressed to go into questionable conditions or fly in weird hours of the day. You can really enjoy the entire journey and be flying in good conditions the whole time. Yeah, I mean, you can make... Theoretically. The, you can make the 100 miles in one in one go one like, flight you can make the 100 miles in the morning and then go back and fly all the cool stuff in the evening or fly wherever you get to and uh yes it's gonna be para camping unless you want to land in the hotel parking lot and stay in the hotel which we don't plan to do no um so lots of para camping i imagine we'll end up camping at some airports but we're probably going to try and land out in the sketchy spots because we like to film things with little things cameras yeah so like definitely lots of uh Paracamping. I don't know if you guys saw the pictures online yet. I got that gin paramotor tent. I've wanted that thing for four years. 
finally got it. Um, four years, dude. Maybe not four. I don't know. I saw a picture of it a long time ago. And was I was like, think it came out four years ago. Maybe it was like I saw it like back when I was flying the mini plane in the Spider. Oh, okay. And so I was well, like, yeah. I want that, but I don't need it. And then I was sitting in Salt Lake, like I'm about to fly in Paracamp, and I want that, and now I need it, and I got one. It's yeah, sweet. I'm stoked that you got one. I'm kind of jealous. Oh, my mom's here. Hi, mom. I hope you got my postcard from Black Rock City. <laughs> my mom's is really cutest. Sweet. Uh, Thanks, mom. What up to Judson's mom? Yeah. So I'm kind of looking in the comment section. Uh, you're gonna need to change the smoke detector battery before the live stream. Oh no! Is it going off? It's just kind of like beep in the background. Let me close the door. Okay. Sorry. That sounds good. So that's kind of the situation. I want to talk about why I brought Trevor on while he um, brings this smoke detector thing to a halt. Are you got Hopefully. it? Sweet. Okay. So. Why am I flying this with Trevor? You might ask. And here's the answer. I met you at Salton Sea. Yeah. In January. February. February. And we interviewed. And we were like, oh, you're actually like, they're cool. You're, you're <laughs> we were just chill, like, you know? hit it off. <laughs> um, and then they're like, oh, you're going to fly 1,100 miles unsupported across uh, the western side of the country. And I'm like, okay, it sounds good. And then I start thinking about it and I go, I don't know how to fly out here at all. Like, <laughs> At all. And you do, because you've been flying here for how long? 10 years. He's been flying in the mountains out west in all of that terrain for 10 years. You're also my age. You're also cool. You're also a damn good pilot. So it met all the It criteria. just worked. And I'm like, I'm flying with Trevor and it's going to be rad. Uh, Victor. Hi, Victor. I'm stoked about it. It's Victor from Romania. Victor. Dude, I spent a lot of time with Victor down in awesome. Corpus Christi. Um, I like Victor. Who wants to fly alone? Nobody wants to fly alone. There's something to be said about it sometimes, but I've found recently, especially after the passing of Jess, honestly, of Jeff, I, I don't like flying alone at all. It doesn't do it for me. And especially something like this. Especially in the deep back country. I don't want to do it. There's very little room for air there. Yeah. Um, we're going to carry GoPro 9, GoPro 10. Um, also, Fujifilm X-H1. Are you gonna be bringing that bad boy? Yep, I'm gonna bring it. I'm um, I'm gonna be there and regretting not having it. If I'm oh, bring it, hundred percent. It is worth the wait. And the Fujifilm XH1 with a 16 to 80 millimeter f/4 lens um, for hopefully some somewhat smooth. Uh, Are you bringing the gimbal? Flight. No, I'm not bringing the gimbal. That's too much. I mean, like, I think, could. Do you think Ryan's gonna bring his gimbal? Is Ryan doing it? I'm pretty sure. Well, that changes everything because now, like, <laughs> now I'm in a war. <laughs> it's it's the it's the now war. Now you up them. Um, no, I'm gonna go ask Ryan if he's bringing the gimbal, and maybe I'll bring the gimbal. The gimbal's a lot, but it is worth it for the footage. You know, I also think, but it's what, also not that far. Yeah, it's not that far. Um, you don't have to take it the entire time because you can leave it in the truck for select sections of it if you find it doesn't work. Because they're gonna have that's true a support truck that will bring stuff. Um, also, I had something I was gonna say and I forgot what that was. Oh, I'm wondering if if, if since everybody's pretty much doing the same route, mm -hmm. like, I think you could get so much good content of so many different wings. Oh yeah, I feel like every, it's kind and of nothing. Be a nothing is going to be a good cinematic foot drag through that lake that I showed you on a gimbal. No. Like, it's, it's you might just have to send it. Yeah. It, depending on if you have space, because I can carry extra stuff so that you have the ability to bring that. But that means you have to bring the, the knee thing and everything. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's uh, talk about I think we went back. We got to go back. So a couple... Will you guys be flying together the whole adventure? Yes. We'll be flying together the entire adventure. Yeah. We will stick together. It's highly possible that we will be flying with other pilots for a majority of it potentially i mean assuming if everybody launches at the same time and we're following the same route that would be sweet it'd be kind of cool it would be super cool we'll um totally but if we up. get separated from that group then we're staying together yeah okay um yeah let's talk about gear real quick and then we can talk oh yeah so james is asking hi james is this a race? And the answer is no, this is not a race. And I'm actually really happy that it's not a race because it's uh, it, it's like a fun race, basically. There will be awards at the end, but the awards are for who had the best time, who had the craziest story, who did the most adventurous thing, not who got to the finish line first. 
I bet you if you showed up two days late to the finish line, but you were like, oh man, it was crazy, you might win. You, what's winning? It, At the end of the day, winning is whoever uh, goes home with the best memories. I think everyone's going to have an And awesome. or the best videos. Yeah, so that's kind of the premise of that, and I really love that. Okay. Uh, Woody, yes, the Viper is going to be our wing of choice for this. Yes, two Viper 5s. You're on an 18, I'm on a 16. We are going to be uh, cruise missiles. We are going to be <laughs> so right fast. Right We're hoping to be we able... We should almost just launch last and then just try and blast past everyone and then land and then wait for them all to pass and blast past them and get video in the process. That is going to be nice because we'll be able to like circle back and get video. Because and, we yeah. could spend a t our time kind of getting video of people yeah let's uh let's talk about gear and then we'll talk about the route so gear real quick i will be flying my almost brand new scout one carbon scout just video. super sexy thing super it's, super sexy. it's so good you almost um, should take the camera just to get i know we should go <laughs> should we go <laughs> no there's a uh, pair motor ripped apart next to it okay well i'm gonna be flying my uh yeah, we could go show it. We could show it. okay we're gonna go okay we're gonna go <laughs> guys <laughs> Are you, if we really dig on that stat that much? I, dude, there's 87 people watching. We gotta go check this out. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, light. I got you. Okay. Mobile is like just looking so good right now. It's like, yeah, just ignore the two pairs. Like it's so <laughs> shiny. Okay. And then that, that's some part pieces. All right, we're gonna go back to the table. I'm sorry, I just had to do that, and uh, we'll talk about the rest of the gear. Vlog mode. Don't look too right. <laughs> it's blurry. Okay. Okay. Along with the Scout, I will be pairing it with a um, lovely pair of Scout Adventure Wing bags for the Adventure Wing Man. Um, the Scout. Adventure wing bags are, uh, they're huge. I have a video of fly camping coming out probably as this race starts and I use them. And it was the first time I've used them and they're massive. So they're like two saddle bags that sit on the side of the motor and that will be able to hold most, all most of our stuff. We should um, be able to fit all our camping stuff in one and then really we don't have that much stuff elsewhere. Yeah, I think one side gonna be uh, camping, potentially fuel. I don't know if I want to put fuel in the bag. We'll see. Um, I don't know if you're going to end up wanting to launch with fuel. <laughs> we'll see. Um, one side's probably going to be, probably the left side's going to be camping and stuff I don't need to get to. The right side, because my right hand is free, because I fly left hand throttle, is going to have all of my cameras, cameras, food, snacks, whatever I want in there. And then I'm going to put the sleeping pad. I just went and bought a sweet, like self-inflating sleeping pad and a sweet down um, sleeping bag under the gas tank of the sky. Oh, dude, we're gonna have so much space. There's gonna that. be so much room. I don't even think we need to. I don't even. Think I don't I need know to if run you a front duffel. I'm not running a front duffel. I'm, I'm gonna put the Kavu bag on my chest just because it's like a sweet, like put a cliff bar on there situation. Yeah. Um, I mean, if I run a front duffel, dude, we could bring so much, but we're gonna yeah. run out of weight. So that's what I'm going to be running. Um, and then what are you bringing? Basically the same thing minus some cameras? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna fly the Limitless Paramotor Viper 5 uh, and then two Adventure Wing Bag, Adventure Scout Bags on the side. I keep messing it up, Adventure Wing Bag. Adventure that's what I'm gonna Wingman be calling Bag? It. They're Adventure Wingman Bags. No, they're Adventure Wing Bags. Adventure Wing Bags, yeah. okay. And then uh, maybe a front duffel? I don't know. We'll see. I'll bring it just in case. Because I guess if it, if I don't put anything in it, it doesn't hurt to have it. Yeah. Well, you have to balance the weight in your saddlebags. No, but it will be weird if you don't. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to... Like, if you just had one and it had, like, 30 pounds of stuff in it, I think that would be, like... It'd be a little awkward launching it. More water than you need and a reserve. I'll be flying with reserve. I will also be flying with okay. a reserve. That's what my mom said. I am going to... <laughs> actually... Do you have another reserve? Yeah, just not packed. Is it like open? I can mm -hmm. pack it. I would swap to a bigger reserve for this because I have more weight. Brain. Big brain moment. But then it's more weight. Yeah, it's more weight. I consider taking it off because my reserve is like five pounds. No, you have to fly with reserve. <laughs> I'm not letting you not fly this without with a reserve. What yeah, mom, we're going to bring water. Um, 
I have like a gal- yeah, like a ca- gallon and a half camelback. Um, I think we'll be just fine. I we'll- think we'll be fine on water. We're going to tr- avoid flying midday unless we end up in a situation where it's like gonna work out and be super smooth. Um, so that's the gear situation. Yes, sir. We have two awesome, efficient paramotor setups. I'm stoked to be using my Viper 5 to its actual like, in- potential. Yeah, actual intended potential. Yeah. I feel like it's made for this. Um, I don't know if you agree. Like, I, I mean, that's what the Viper 5 was made for. Yeah. It's more of a cross-country focused wing. Yeah, and then not only the cross country, but putting it, I'm really low on the weight range of the 16 because they won't make me a 15 or a 14 and it's just really sad. Um, I'm really low on the 16 weight range, putting like 35 pounds on the motor. It's like, oh my gosh, yeah, this is how this thing's supposed to fly. It just (laughs) cuts through everything. It's so good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and now let's talk about the, uh, the route. And if you're not from the U S it's possible that you could be confused. And we don't have a map to show you, unfortunately. I have a phone. Okay. Well, if you search Scout Adventure Wingman USA, a page will pop up and you'll go see that uh, map. But basically, we're starting in s- north central eastern California. Oh, we're starting at the bottom of Lake Tahoe. Yes. And then we're flying down the border of California and then cutting through Death Valley, past Vegas, then up to the edge of Utah, and then we follow the edges of Utah all the way back around to St. George. So it's like Tahoe, down around. Up, and then down. Yeah, down around, up, and then around. Yeah. Through like the coolest stuff. Just all the coolest stuff. And there is five, four or five checkpoints? There's three checkpoints. Three checkpoints. Yeah, every 350 miles or so. You have three days to get to them. It's gonna be super cool, so we're gonna fly past Moab. We could just fly right over Moab. I mean, we're not allowed to, but we're going to fly. We're going to go up towards like Green River and then cut back down past Moab, go all the way down to the edge of Utah and then cut across past Lake Powell. So more like the Arizona Utah border. Yeah, we're going to follow the border. Just red rocks. Oh, all the stuff, dude. But it's like, that's like, uh, it's so deep in the backcountry down there. I haven't really explored a lot. It's so, so empty. It's going to be. That's gonna We're just going to be out there. We're going to be out there, camping in the middle of absolutely no freaking where. Yes. Is this the Sierra Nevada, Yosemite, Death Valley, Valley of Fire, Zion, Bryce, K, all of that, all of that. Except a lot of those are national parks and it's going to be It's going to be, be near those. We're not necessarily going to be going through those. Oh, yeah. We're going to bring a life straw. We were at Cabela's today trying to find... Um, a life straw, and they didn't have one, so we're gonna go to Walmart or REI. I just good enough to find it. Uh, spare parts and tools, yes, we'll bring some stuff. Yes, if you go back and watch my um, toolkit video, I'm bringing those toolkits because they're stocked up. I've barely used them, and they're gonna be awesome. And that toolkit actually just saved my butt on top of a mountain because my primer, the oh. button, no, not the bolt, the button you press on the carburetor came off on top of the mountain. And I'm like trying to stick a piece. The greatest of, spot to lose. Just like the perfect. Oh my gosh! And I just got a little Allen key and poked the little button. Um, if Sky Sports is watching this. I'm gonna call you right after this and place an order for that, and you're gonna send it to Lake Tahoe. Oh, they can send it to Lake Tahoe. Yeah, they can. Oh, dude, you know. But what? it's Sky Sports. It just, always comes just up call, like that. Just call Canyon. I'm sure he's gonna have one for you. I'll call Canyon. Um, what would you look for to judge if midday flying is possible? You want to go? I mean, like, we could go answer this. I look for the darkest, scariest clouds. They're going to take me as high as possible. Yeah, like, if, if the <laughs> sky is, like, black and it's, like... And it's dumping thund- rain. And also thundering. And huge thunder and lightning. Then I know that I'm going to hit 30K feet, 30K, 30,000 feet real quick. Yeah, that's not it. Um, generally, what we'd be looking <laughs> for on an overcast flight would be either one, it's over or near a large body of water, like Salton Sea, Bear Lake, like any of those big bodies of water, um, and or that there is some sort of cloud cover that is blocking the sun from heating up the ground and creating big thermals. I mean, I don't mind falling through the thermals. Yeah. It just depends on how bumpy you want it. Like how smooth of a day do you want versus how bumpy of a day? 
the thing with thermals for me is, okay, I will go out in thermals if there isn't a strong prevailing wind. Because yeah. then you start playing with shear and that. But if it's just, like, no wind and thermals, I, we could do that. That's easy. Or even a little wind. A little wind. But, yeah, if it's, like, 20 miles an hour and all, at 5,000 feet and also thermic, if there's no. If it's just really strong kick and wind, no. But if it's a little wind with some thermals... We could get lucky and have a tailwind that would be really beneficial. Because we can make huge distance quick if we had thermals. We yes, could fly because like there'd be lift. All day with yeah. no gas. So the answer is it depends. It totally depends. Oh, somebody answered in French, and that's sexy, but I don't know what it says. <laughs> um, all right, I'm looking at some more. We do got to make a gaggle or something. I imagine someone's going to have something going on that tracks oh, everybody. Oh, I want to talk about the tracking because I just talked to Canyon about this. Uh, Canyon and Dean are setting up uh, the spots. We're going to have like a spot. And I'm almost positive you're going to be able to That'd be so follow cool. our progress like they did on the Icarus live while we're there. If that's the case, I will blast that link everywhere across the entire internet that I can possibly do because I think it'd be super cool to have people um, watching real time. I remember um, what I remember watching Harley uh, go across the country on his like tracker. I think that that would be really sweet to have going on. So if we um, if we have that going on, I'll plug it everywhere. Aquarium, chlorine dioxide water, Okay, thank you, Dad. I will get those. That's water purification nation stuff. Shout out to... Uh, Thanks, Dad. See, the funny thing is you have all of the uh, camping stuff that I just went and bought in the basement in New Jersey. <laughs> it's all there. And the water just... pit bags, the, the sleeping bags. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all there. Um, somebody says... Somebody said something. I'm somewhere. just reading. Now we're getting into the questions and answer size. Will the adventure be posted to both Trevor and Judson's not particular order YouTube accounts basically after editing, maybe live? I am personally going to make videos for my channel. Trevor, what are you going to do? Yeah, I'll be making videos. He's going to be making videos for his channel. Um, there's certainly going to be overlap there because um, we're doing the same thing, telling the same story. We experience the same thing. So nobody go to me and tell that me that I'm ripping off uh, Trevor and nobody come tell Trevor that I'm ripping off Judson. Cause I've had that happen. Like I've gone on a flight with Tucker and then I've like made a video about it. And then people are like, you ripped off Tucker. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, you don't understand. Like it was the same day. Like we did the, the same, same thing. thing yeah. In two different um, Hi Judson, come to Brazil. Flying in South America is amazing. So I've heard that would be sweet. One day soon. Uh, Michael, the bumps don't bother me. I thought bumps don't bother you. Turbulence. I don't really mind There's turbulence. A, I don't mind turbulence at all. It's just yeah. like, at some point, it's just not fun. And we don't need to push big distance, so we don't have to push through it. No. I think you two are the most popular paramotor besides Tucker and, well, Honeycutt. A distinct honor. Anthony Villa has a speed. He does. I mean, you just can't compete with that beard. It's just so good. It's so good. Um, what's your plan for fuel? Hi, Kevin can fly. Yeah, we're going to carry oil. We're going to... What do you want to put the oil in? See? What are we going to put the oil in? A plastic bag wrapped up in, a, in one of the side Like bags. a Ziploc. Yeah, and I'll bring uh, the mixing bottle too. And then we'll just like... A le like oh like a five gallon like, or like a I'll gallon. just bring a whole gallon with a mixing bottle that way we can just dump it in oh I need to bring a funnel for that dude you know mm -hmm. how hard the gas tank is to get to no with just wait. a big old mixing bottle oh yeah yeah yes yeah, so we're gonna carry toilet paper we came to that realization in, in Cabela's today <laughs> we did Vela's not for the young crowd or seeking viewers dude we're trying to figure it out honestly I'm hoping that this whole um para camping thing is kind of a, a great catalyst for the channel because I feel like I'm like very close to something but not quite there yet. Yeah, we bought You're dude wipes. Dude. We bought dude wipes today. Yeah, we did. We did. So we're going to bring the wet wipes. What are you guys using for comms in the air? Um, we're just going to pray that there's cell service and text each other. Unless I have you... radios. Do you have like an earpiece? Mm. My helmet doesn't do that. I'm taking my mm. helmet. 
could run Cena's. I'd have to put another Cena on my helmet. I guess we'll be texting each other. We're going to be texting each other. Or I, we could bring radios and just talk to them. Go to Idol. Hey, buddy. Hey, are you <laughs> Uh, oil, check out using an extra dermary bag and you can get a 100 mil syringe for measuring. I think we'll be just fine with a bottle. I don't think that'll work, Taylor. But anyway. No. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. That's the state. We got 94 We got 94 friends, friends who are excited for this. And that wow. makes me really, really happy. And that's it's exciting. Wow. Um, so kind of the video plan for this, let's break that down. The video plan is to, uh, grab multiple, um, USB chargey battery blocks. So that's going to be hard. I have like six of them. Big ones. I have like three big ones. Matt, Matt says meetings over. I'm back. What did I miss? We were talking about you the whole time, dude. Like it's, it's time. Get here. Um, the um we're about to break a hundred people that's so crazy somebody join so we can get to a hundred that's a record for me um so i'm going to be carrying like i said the gopro 10 uh the gopro 9 and the fujifilm xh1 potentially with the gimbal with the intent of filming everything like as much as possible i'm probably going to run um the gopro 9 on mm, the gopro 10 on my helmet with the media mod or perhaps get another media mod for the GoPro 9, uh, because I find that the GoPro with the um, media mod on it is really great. Like, just grab it and point it at something, and it looks good camera. Would you agree? Yeah. The 10, the 10 looks good. They are The 10 looks good. good. Um, and just have that as my sidearm, like, all the time. Like... Just you just gotta have a GoPro that you can just point. When it's yeah, I, so at Burning Man, I kept the 10 in my pocket with the media mod everywhere I went. And it was just awesome because it was just like press button, film, press button, put back in pocket, and you're not worrying about settings. And then, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what I want. Maybe I'll run the DJI Osmo action on my helmet, but that thing kind of sucks in comparison to the 9 and 10 GoPro. I have a feeling we're just gonna be turning them on and off. At yeah, we're gonna points. be. We're going to be... Um, I bet a lot of the really good get video that we're going to get is going to be click record and point it at each other. Yeah, with the horizon leveling and the level. Yeah. It looks good. It just looks uh, so Yeah, good. GoPro 11 just came out, you know? Like, what? what's the deal with that? It's the same thing, just... GoPro new. 11 mini. Oh, it's, look at that little thing. Oh, look at that little baby. It's a little cute baby. Um, it looks like a 10, just... I don't, I mean, five hours ago, the power of Hero 11, only smaller, lighter, and simpler, available for preferred on 1025. So we're not getting the GoPro in time. Oh, is there an Osmo Action 3? Oh, hi, Nier. What's up, buddy? Um, I don't know. Maybe I need one more. Oh, Pablo's telling me the GoPro 11 has a bigger sensor. That's a game changer. Maybe I need one more camera for it. I don't know. Tucker flew the Icarus with a GoPro 4. And it was just and only a GoPro camera. 4. Dude, just the helmet camera. That yeah, was and it was it just was. the helmet camera. So I think that we have we all of the stuff that. covered. The um, biggest thing is making sure we keep them charged. Yeah, so the storage. biggest thing is also... Um, and we have phones. We need to keep everything charged. We have phones, which work really well. Anyway, that's the gear we're going to be using. Yeah, um, it's going to be easy. It's going to be fine. We are camered out to the max. Um, have the the video series. What I'm planning on personally is doing a episode that is rather. <laughs> Mom saying keep it simple. Yeah, yeah. The GoPro keeps it so simple and so straightforward. Because um, with the the big camera, you got to pull it out, start the gimbal, and then we have to loop back. And it's going to be important not to turn around too many times. Yeah, it's but to be like, big, here's a cool shot. The, the big camera is coming. It has to come. Maybe not with the gimbal, but the big camera is coming. Anyway, my video plan is to make a uh, vlog style video somewhere in between uh, what the, the, what do you call it? The North Side video was that I posted recently. And one of those flying like the the video i got when i got the scout so something pretty casual between each rest day 
So it's gonna start at one rest day, go three days, end at another rest day for each one. So that's gonna give us three or four uh, videos, maybe a prep, getting it all together video. And then um, I'm going to have a lot of hundreds of gigabytes of the most epic footage ever. And we're going to uh, make a 45 minute drawn out documentary for myself that maybe you'll watch and I'd appreciate it if you watch, but it is going to be the most ambitious thing I've ever done. Broke back paramotor adventures. Yeah. Um, I feel that. Yeah, no, Kevin, we're gonna just- um, I don't think we'll edit anything until- We're, we're not gonna edit any, I might make like uh, TikToks and Instagram reels, but I, I'm not gonna be touching any of the footage I filmed from the GoPros. Um, until after the fact, because we have these rest days, I'm gonna have somebody with a hard drive and I'm gonna just dump and format all of the uh, that's a good all idea. of the cards. Hi, Dan, you actually joined my live stream and that's awesome. Uh, Daniel Huckby is in the chat. He is a friend I've known since high school and for some reason he's in Salt Lake. I think your girlfriend's here. Um, that's why you're in Salt Lake, but he's now a flight attendant, but also helped me um, replace the headlights in my van and camp next to, yeah, camp next to me at Southside and tested my coffee this morning. Are we gonna shower together to save water? I don't think we'll shower for three days. <laughs> no, I don't think we're gonna shower for three days. It's the desert, it's dry, put on some deodorant and get over it. We're not even gonna be flunt next to each other. No, we'll be... it's gonna be air. Yeah, we're gonna smell so bad. Michael Kennedy says, why is Tucker no longer promoting the scout as much? I don't know, ask him. He flew a scout in the last video or one of the last videos. Oh my gosh, you know what I didn't expect from a Tucker Got video this morning? I didn't expect the emotional roller coaster that was gonna be the top five paramotor Karens episode because like it was just all throwbacks to when I was like it was the first year of flying when we were back at the park at Heritage Park and um, when I was on the mini plane and down Dan was on the uh, spider and Jeff was there um, and it was just awesome and it was kind of like a reminder of to really appreciate things when you have them because we didn't realize like how good that was until it was just like, oh, it's, it, you can't time. fly at any of these spots anymore. Um, like Jeff's not here. It was just like, oh my gosh, I did not expect that. Um, <clears throat> can't figure out who to trust for training. There's a number of high quality paramotor schools throughout the country. I'm gonna recommend Team Fly Halo to you because they're the people who are paying me to make videos. Trevor's gonna recommend himself because he's gonna train people to fly paramotors. This um, is not about where to train paramotors, but I'm gonna plug something right now. Go ahead. I don't know if you are doing one of these, but I will be doing, we'll talk about this more in a little bit, but Team Fly Halo is putting on after the, um, Adventure Wingman at Salton Sea in November-ish, potentially. I don't know the exact dates. It's not completely locked down right now. But myself, my good friend Mo, and uh, Jason LaHell from Team Fly Halo will be putting on a Advancer Skills paramotor cross-country and adventure flying slash fly camping course. Um, we'll get you details on that soon. But I'm excited to teach a more advanced class, especially after coming right off the back of... Adventure Wingman, and I'm surely going to learn a ridiculous amount of information from that. So it's going to cover everything from... Sounds fun. Yeah, we're going to go flight things. So we're going to do all the, we're gonna do all the things. We're going to break it down into modules. We're going to do a module on uh, flying. So launching from tight places, getting over obstacles, landing in tight places, engine out procedures engine off, spot landings, that kind of stuff. We're going to do weather and, and airspace and a planning course uh, more in depth for your journeys, what apps to use, how to break that down. And then we will also do a what to bring type of situation. There will be more details on that coming soon, but if you um, get really stoked on the fact that you can take a paramotor and go land it out in the middle of nowhere and you're like, I wanna do that, you sign up for the course because I'll teach you how to do it. Do you guys think that flying it, this type of triple actually to be more stressful and fun with the, what is the, I, dude, I don't know what you're saying, bro. It's all right. 
Mm -mm -mm. Hey guys, it's Paramom. Hi, Paramom. We will potentially touch tips at some point. Um, who else is in here? Sweet. Have you been keeping up with the boys, Richard and Twitty flying across Australia? I um, have been in contact with Richard, but I like I knew he was flying across. Is he still doing it? Because I want to know um, more details about that. That's Trevor. Is he great? And he hurts. Okay. Yeah, that's who I plugged. All right. Stop plugging your gear in the comments. Stop plugging your training in the comments. It's not what it's about. But I just did like a 10 minute You're plug. literally just prepared. <laughs> Whatever. But it's your platform. It's my platform. I can do what I want. And I think it's going to be cool that if you. I'm just watching everybody this. pitch themselves. It's yeah, it's funny to watch everyone. Just and then Nick is like, audio is clear. Thanks, bro. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Um, let's kind of open it up open forum again. Do you guys have um, a lot of comments, questions, or concerns yeah. that you haven't been that you haven't had voiced recently? The um, battery of the MacBook is at ten percent currently. See the charger? Um, yeah, it's in the van, but it's okay. When it dies, we'll end or just pull it up on your phone. Oh yeah, I guess we can just pull up the questions here. Yeah. Okay, Blaze says, yes, they're still going, but the weather has been tough for them. So they're are they on a schedule or are they just kind of going for it and seeing what the heck happens? Because that's really exciting. One of you needs to replace the battery in the fire alarm. Oh, we know. Um, Trevor's been flying for 10 years. I've been flying for four and some months. Any specific landmarks you want to see on the route? Um, Scout has provided us with a map of pretty awesome... Yo, did we freeze? Maps. No, I paused it, so we weren't using oh. as much battery. Scout has provided us with a pretty awesome... Um, route? route and pins along it, which are kind of the landmarks. I don't think really that it's going to be hard to, I don't think like, it's we're just going to run stuff. right into the coolest stuff ever. Um, so that's going to be, think this, I think the, the route was planned to go over all the cool stuff. Yeah. It's just like, by I design. I think we'll have to go with divert. And I wonder if we're all going to travel as a pack. Like think of how cool it'd be if all like 20 of us traveled as a big pack. Yeah. It would be so sweet. It'd be kind of fun. Pablo says, I'm concerned that you will not be ha I will not be having as much fun as you. I'm concerned as well, and unfortunately, I believe that I will be having more fun for this <laughs> two weeks. Um, Whisper Jet says, we're so great for this sport. I'm honored. And then Chris says, in case you were not aware, these are the good times. You're in them. I'm, I'm realizing that and trying to cherish that. Um, just a little bit of a side note with paragliding. I was, I've been talking about this a little bit. Um, if there's new pilots in here, here's the lesson I'm going to give you that I have learned from paragliding. And you know what I want to tell you about, right? I'm actually, I don't know. Um, when, you you when I started out in a, as a paramotor pilot, I wanted to do the, do the tricks and progress and push and push and push. And I never stopped to take a moment to go, hey, this is cool because you're not good and you're gonna look back at this and be like, wow, you were so stoked just to go up and fly. Um, the, the charm of paragliding at this yeah, point is still just Exactly, flying. so going to paragliding now, free flight without the motor, it's like learning, it's like that feeling of this first six months of paramotoring again with cheat codes. Cause I know how to use the wing, but I don't know a lot about paragliding. And then I'm just up there in the glass off like, this is the coolest thing ever. And people are like, oh, are you gonna do a cross country? I'm like, no, 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 I'm gonna ride this wave <laughs> of being super content at doing nothing for as long as humanly possible. Yeah. It's fun to and be I would new at something again. Yeah, and that's where acro takes me, but acro's scary. Acro's like good scary, but at the lake. Yeah. Over the ground, it's just scary. Yeah. Um, but that's my lesson for you. And if you're a new pilot, do not rush. And you're going to want to rush, but that's the lesson. Okay. Um, I'm so excited to follow this. Hi, Mark. I hope you're still flying. Um, yeah, we. I will try to post as much as possible, at least on my story and in short form content. I have a feeling we're going to be in and out of service. Byron said that he had good service during the Icarus oh. like five years ago. And we should be fine. So we should be fine. <laughs> He's like, on the ground you might, but in the air you'll be fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to post stuff, updates as much as possible. There's 102 people watching. That's amazing. Ooh, I didn't know we had 102 friends. 
I, neither did I, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, Glass Off is awesome. Are you gonna be, yeah, so we're gonna, again, we're gonna try our best to broadcast the flight tracking live. Um, I don't know what the website is that's gonna be doing that. Maybe it's associated with TeamFly, maybe it's with the, um, with Scout. If worst comes to worst, you can download Gaggle and I'll run Gaggle and track the flights. Um, I mean, and I'm you can, sure both of our Instagram stories will come constantly the stuff. instagram stories are going to be constant the best way to keep up with as it's going is instagram yeah that's really really true like if you want to see what's happening like an hour ago go follow both of us on instagram yeah. or at least you on instagram you'll see all of it yeah um it hank hopkins says it would be really cool if the paramotor community would become one as a team of teachers instructors student bodies masters that was the thing that you and I bonded over. It was. Honestly. Because I, there was like this, this thing because of where you used to work where I was like, I had this preconceived notion that I met you and then you taught me shit and you, I taught you stuff. And then it was like, why? We were able to bring two why? halves of the community together. Literally why? And then one decided to keep going. Yeah. The, 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 the paramotor community will grow so fast if um, I think it's already it's, a pretty big family. It, it, yeah, it's it's I, even from when I got into it, it's feeling more like a big family, and people are just like, "I like you," even though you work over there, and there's, I like you. There's a even few oddball there. cases that are way out there, but for the most part, everyone's pretty close. Yes, and online people. Um will write things that they don't mean in person. Just when you're online, say things like you'd say it in person is, is, is my advice for that paramotor group. Okay, do we have a- If you wouldn't say it to- Your face, face, don't say it at all. Don't say it all. Do we have a public playlist of flying music that you will listen to while flying? Uh, by the way, the paragliding video brought me so much joy. I'm really happy that brought you so much joy. That video brought me so much joy because I committed to making a very basic video with just a GoPro I and the, it was cool. The fly cool. camping video, dude, is gonna pop so good. And the fly, Trevor's helping me edit the fly camping video. It's, it's gonna, gonna be awesome. So good. Um, I'm gonna be listening to all sorts of stuff when it gets super duper pretty and dreamy. I'm gonna probably go for either classical or Jacob Collier. Um, when it gets turbulent, we're gonna put on the Polyphia. If I'm just feeling it, we're gonna go for the Wolfpack or the Wolfman. Um, that was the song in the paragliding video. It was Boogeyman by Wolfman. Mon, M-O-N. Dude, I just got, my, my Instagram's just blown up right but now. But there's all sorts of um, other people we're gonna be listening to. <laughs> I have just started, I've, I've flown like three times now with music in my entire life, so I don't, and also I can't even hear the music at more than 5,500 RPMs. So I I'm, might just be flying there in, okay. in silence. No, 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 no. I will buy you, or you are buying yourself, a pair of Bose Quiet Comfort in ear earbuds. I can't wear you in can't? earbuds. You they can't? fall out. They fall out like that. Even I have to wear earplugs underneath my helmet. But I did buy my 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 earmuffs. Don't cover my ears anymore mm -hmm. because the speakers poke them out. And so I bought bigger ones that I think maybe will add an additional seal. I might also buy upgraded louder speakers at the motorcycle shop down the street to install into my Cena. Okay. But if we're just cruising, I can like kind of sort of hear it. The Bose <laughs> Quiet Comfort can. with the noise cancellation. David Taylor, if you're here, will attest to it. You did, flip the switch and the motor goes away and you have like see, I tried, really good sound quality. I tried David's. Did you it like it? fell him? out in less than a minute. And I flew just like stupid loud. It was the first flight I, when I went But did Florida. you hear it? No, they fell out and I just could, all I heard was just a screaming motor. Oh, dude, when it works, it's magic. Um, yeah, Sebastian says, I bought the bows because of David, too, and they're great. They're so good, because you're, like, up there enjoying music, not like, ah, oh, there's music and a loud motor. We'll get you set up. See, I just spent 10 years flying with no music, so I don't really care. Oh, it, dude, it's, like, not even... It's not the it's same It's not thing. the same. What is Trevor's channel? Trevor Steele. That's your name, right? It's my name. Yeah, it's your name. Any intentional international trips in the future... Dude, That's right. the next thing. I'm also I'm also being cautious with international travel in the same way that I'm being cautious with paragliding. I have not explored a I've never done it. tenth of what you also have barely explored the United States. That's that's what I'm getting. I have not barely explored the United States and I and I go to places here and freak out because it's so pretty and I I 
I have my whole life to go check out Europe and Asia and South America and Mexico and Australia and all and all of that. We have to spend Africa. next spring, summer, and fall just like completely exploring top to bottom United States. Yeah. I want to fly top and put the Rocky Mountains to the bottom. Yeah. And if you guys like are supporting this channel and love what we're doing and then like that momentum grows, then literally I can just go say, you know what? We're going to Mexico this week and I'm taking you with me and it's going to be awesome. Um, that would be the end goal. It'd be great. It'd be so sweet. So sick. Join the Patreon if you haven't already. I'll put a link in the bio after this video. If only so I can use non uh, copywritten music and videos because that would be awesome. Just do it anyway. I'm, I'm just going to do it because YouTube it. pays me like a hundred bucks a month Dude, on a good month. It doesn't just matter. I'm just going to do it. Um, all right. Let's see what else we got going on. I will on. say we, we really should go fly the, the uh, Thailand. Oh, yeah. Dude, there's some dreamy stuff out there. We'll have to fly like a 1970s paramotor. I think we should have them. It'll be fine. Hi, Whitney. I hope you're doing so okay with Luna. I'm really sorry to hear about what's going on with Luna. Send good vibes to Whitney. Um, her dog is sick. Yeah, poor, poor Whitney. Uh, Matt, I would love to try them. Please bring them. I've never had great uh, success with in-ear things. James Parker says, I fly with uh, Eddie Modic. Erase. Y'all have to just send me, just like message me on Instagram or something, all the things that you've tried, and I'll try them. But even headphones, like the AirPod Pros, dude, just fall right out. Sweet. Um, Philippines is better than... Yeah, international travel is going to happen. More fly camping is going to happen. Fly camping. Um, I, I cannot camping. express how special fly camping is i've never done it before i've dreamed you about it for a while even fly camp a really cool spot i know here's what i'm getting at it's like this was a lame fly camping mission altogether it was a sketchy launch site the flight was <laughs> two miles three thousand feet vertical it was literally a 10 minute flight we get up there and it's just the coolest thing ever and now it's like oh we're gonna fly like 100 miles and then park it on top of a mountain and yep. then hang out there overnight and then do it for two weeks oh we're gonna hate it at the end it's gonna be so good yeah, I think it's going to go from, like, super just awesome fun to, like, at to like, some point, some type two. Oh, man, we just have some to like, sleep in a tent oh, again. Because <laughs> I didn't sleep that night. But you're going to... It's going to... We're going to get so tired anyway. Yeah, gonna we're going to be beat up. Dude, we're going to have to find a way to bring Red Bulls with us. Oh, we could go the Tylor route. Um, and that? just buy, like, the bag, like, the one uh, kilogram bag of powdered caffeine. Ooh. But that's just like doing. That's, that's just, just like doing hard drugs at that point. Yeah, we, we may as well just. He's like, oh, here's some white powder. Put it in your water. I'm like, how much is that? He's like, some. I have a scale. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? It just looks. Oh, that's crazy. It looks very questionable. You'd have a lot of problems talking your way out of the law. Or you're just on video, and I'm just in the background, just like dumping white powder in your drink. Yeah, it'd be bad. Um. Whitney says, I'm fly camping this weekend, hopefully, and I'm excited to try, even though I have zero gear for this, LOL. I need to make a video about, like, the best fly camping stuff, because there's a clear difference between a decent tent and, like, the, the tent to get, and it's called a gin tent. People are going to disagree. <laughs> there's a lot of people who don't like the gin tent. I'm going to take the gin tent for the shakedown of the century. Because a lot of people are like, I don't know, man, looks like a little small. I don't know, man, looks like it's going to blow over in the wind. I don't know, man, you should probably replace that battery in the smoke alarm. You, right? I, I guess so. This isn't my place. So I don't know if there's a smoke alarm that doesn't work. Um, but the gin tent sets up super easy. There's only one pole. Um, and it protects your paramotor. You don't have to, like, you, that, your that paramotor you is out there. I have a tent that's, like, 50% of the weight, but it doesn't cover my paramotor. It's two pounds. I have a one-pound tent. Yeah, but when you're, like, fully loading up, you know, every pound counts. That's true. The other, like, super, Blaze already probably covered the, the gin tent. The other cool thing with the tent is it looks so good in photos. It looks, it looks good. So good. It looks better than my tent. I'll give you that. But mine is lighter. And I'm going to brag and rub that in to the day. David yeah. is at REI as we speak, flying fly camping gear for this weekend. I actually um, 
was on the phone with Dave in, in, Cabela's. in Cabela's, and he was like, I'm on my way. Yeah, Jock said gin tent was not a good solution in Iceland. I think the, the thing that sucks with it is you have to stake it down. So if you don't have a place to stake it down, then I got to buy 10 stakes is what I got to do. Does it not have any stakes? No, it has stakes. It just has, like, not enough. And I want stakes that I can, like, pound into the ground. Like, me. But, yeah, we could do that. I'm just really excited. Do we need to bring a mallet for you to pound your stakes? I was actually thinking a 12-pound sledgehammer. Just like, we got space for it. Stick it underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Remember those uh, four-wheelers we saw? At Dude, Bell's? we should just bring the one wheel. That's That's... That's the key. Guys. So we'll bring nothing else whole time. but the one just wheel. Just the one wheel. And then we'll just like one wheel somewhere and like stay in someone's garage. Yeah. We, we could do We it. could just bring <laughs> Josh McGee. Dude, we could He'd put fit. Josh McGee in the Adventure Scout bags. You will understand that reference <laughs> next week. It's hilarious. Get ready. Um, Hot Buttered Production says, aren't the gin tents pretty pricey? They're 380-ish. Dollars. I will just say, like, a really good tent that's lightweight, you're going to spend upwards of 500 bucks. Yeah. So it's not that much. The gin tent is 500 bucks. Uh, I mean, come on. Is that how heavy the gin tent is? 3.7 pounds? No, it's not. It's, I think it's 2.2. 2. Uh, is it? I don't know. It's pretty heavy from what I understand. Because you have a lot of extra stuff to fit. Because you have the fabric that covers your paramotor. Gin paramotor tent. Discover freedom. Uh... 1.7 kg. All right. What's that in pounds? Didn't the guy just do the math? I don't know. 1.7. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. Where are we at? 2. Point something. 1.7. We're getting really tested. 2. Yeah. 3.74 pounds. Okay, homie was right. I don't know why we ever Dude, doubted him. That is 2 pounds heavier than my 10. Whatever. Two. It Almost looks cool. Three. Almost 3. Thank you, Matt. We appreciate that. Um... I will say, um, I went down to Superfly and with all intention of purchasing this tent, went there, was about to give them a uh, payment for it. And Chris walks in, Chris Santa Croce from Superfly and says, you can have the tent as long as you need it. When you're not using it, send it back. So out, the tent was a gift. He and I'm very lucky, grateful for that. Lucky guy. So I didn't pay for the tent. Judson weighs 80 pounds. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Almost. Um, winging it, Woody says, um, I've spent multiple nights in the gin tent on the beach. It's great. It only sucks if you plan on setting up camp and then going fly because then you just love your stuff laying on the ground. Yeah, I can see that. Dude, you were going to wish you had a lighter tent. No. <laughs> We'll figure it out. <laughs> no, it's a it's a topic of debate. Maybe I'll do like a whole like I, I, think I flew we're just this gonna jokingly debate back and forth. Yeah, the whole time, and then I'll make because like an I actual think for video. video. The gin tent wins on all the vi it, like the it wins thumbnail. In every the way. thumbnail. Every single the thumbnail of this. You wanted to click on this video. That's why we have the, 89 the viewers. The tent is going to win in looks on every aspect. The colors oh. they use that like kind of cream color and with it the looks red. Like when you had the scout under dude. Oh, dude, it looks good. So you were gonna sacrifice the, the extra Two, weight just am, for the looks. Yeah, I am taking three point seven pounds of tent for the clickbait boys yeah. and girls. That's what's happening right and now. And I'm taking a one pound. So. Retired technical sergeant probably sounds like a guy who knows something about technical sergeantry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trevor's right. He's probably right. We'll figure it out. It's 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 fine. We'll be okay. Um. Uh, yeah, the, the scout just. I mean, it really makes. Anything I mean, you can't go wrong. It, I'm. I love the scout that I have because of the red on black on carbon fiber, and there's like no deviation. And then All chrome. Consistent. It's. Mm, I don't know. Trevor does love Zupas. I he love took me Zupas. there for the first time yesterday. We're I got, going there today. Okay, we'll go there after this live stream. I got a um, uh, mushroom bisque super soup, good. and it was good. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're gonna wrap this up at. Um, Your battery. Oh, you no, really. This thing is this 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 dude. computer. Teamfly hooked me up with the best computer you could possibly Jeez. get, so I can bring these videos to you. And the battery life on this thing is absurd. Um, 
All right, you guys have the next seven minutes to ask us all of the questions and we will rapid fire answer them and then we're going to Zupas. Uh, let's see, how long did it take for you to feel comfortable and safe flying paramotor? For me, probably not enough time, but I would say like, I don't know, six months, I was like, I can confidently launch and land this thing. Um, and then there's just been this curve of like getting, like, I'm going to do all the craziest stuff, super low, and then being like, that's probably not the right move. And then your friend dies, and then you go to an SIV and, like, relearn how to do stalls. And now it's like, I I can stall and explore, like, with confidence. I don't know. I think it's like, you, you kind of wave and you go, like, I'm really good. I'm super comfortable. And then, like, no, I'm not comfortable. And then you can't. Like, so I was you're so just trying young. to... to Make that smaller. I was so young when I started that I didn't even know mm -hmm. how to not be comfortable. Like it just well, was, how old were you? I was thirteen. He was thirteen. I was sixteen. Yeah. So see, I was just like, eh, I don't know. This is just what I do. So I, I think it was three flights before I was, or, or one flight or whatever. But then it, I had to go through that phase again, not that long ago, a couple of years back. I almost had to relearn to get comfortable again. Yeah. Because I took way too long. Off of this word? Off. Yeah, uh, currency is... 10 times key. a year, 12 times a year, you know. Uh, Matt, I don't know. Um, I haven't been to a lot of SIVs in the country, but I just went to Max Acro SIV at Lake Ferrieso. So Max is Max is off the, the charts, so good. Unless you can afford a trip to Turkey and then go see Theo. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, Max is so good because it's not just an SIV. It's a do an SIV and then push whatever limit you want to. And like day one of that thing, he's like, do infinite entries, get it, send it. And I'm like, all right, bro. Um, don't forget September, don't forget September 19th is official talk like a pirate day, especially if you're flying. Okay, probably gonna forget, honestly, bro. Any plans along the way to meet with Patreons? I don't know how that would work. I think people are gonna join us for some of the flights. People, I think people are flying legs for sure. Um, I mean, if you can watch us on the route... Yeah, if you can check, watch us and, and you can kind of go, oh, they might land in this town, that makes sense. I mean, turn up and I'll be like, what's up? And you can post with a picture and we'll take a picture and we'll post it on Facebook. Yeah. Um, honestly, that'd be pretty sick if we got like... Dude, if we could gather a group to meet us, it, it'd kind of be cheating, but... A group to meet us, but then like how many different photos of different people can we put... Um, like on the Facebook group as we go along the country. It's just like, oh, we're in California, we're in Nevada, we're, we're in fun. Utah. Yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be fun, that's for sure. <clears throat> Augmented paragliding. Glenn Graham says, best live stream yet. Good job. My dad gave me a checklist of things that I need to mention in every video. I'm pretty sure. Did I miss any of it? Where'd it go, um, go Judson's dad? Yeah, winging it. If you want to just randomly join a leg, I mean, Ooh. I'm not giving you explicit permission to do it. I honestly have no idea if you can. But like, there's can. nothing stopping you. I don't think Miro would be like, get out of here. There's no way. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, even if you're just flying certain legs, like you're not really getting the experience that we're going to get. It's totally different. Yeah. Love you, mom. Nice, nice. Did mom get the, the postcard? I did... I, I, I need to call her afterwards. I want to know what she thought of that. Um, what torque wrench do you run for, run for my paramotor? I don't know. Harbor Freight. Yeah. Um, Will you be live streaming while flying? No. Dude, okay, so so Murphy, I've tried live streaming while flying in the past, and it does not work unless you can attach the camera to your body. Yeah, unless you can you can Bluetooth to the GoPro and then do that thing. If you you dude, it'd be fun if you like cruised up to like a twelve thousand foot mountain on a day you could soar and stuck a camera like right here on your leg facing you, and had it tell you the questions. That would be kind of fun. And just like north side on a glass yeah, off. Dude. North side on a glass north off. Side on a good day. North. It's, it's or right Tim. there, dude. Tim, you me. gotta just go fly Tim. We gotta go fly camp Tim. Yeah, yeah. And on the peak, I gotta show you some crazy fly camp. Sean says, thanks for all the incredible content. Can't wait to see how far you will go with your footage. Great job. Thank you, dude. I don't know why you have a check mark, but you probably have more subscribers than me. Only Jacques can live stream while he's flying, and David Nickerson was legendary for that. Any plans to visit Sun and Fun or Oshkosh? Um, Sun and Fun is, like, really, really far away for me, honestly. I love that flying, but it's, like, really, really far away. 
Uh, Oshkosh would be sweet. I had a really good time at Oshkosh in 2021. Um, I have a verified account. That's the check mark. How do you get the verified account? I want the, I want the check mark. Um, maybe Oshkosh. We'll see. I don't know. I got some friends there. I think we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, thank you all, everyone, from the bottom of our hearts for joining this. 99 people watching live right now. Uh, we hope you're as excited for this stupidly awesome trip that we're about to go on as we are um, and to track along on it. We hope that I hope that I can inspire other people to uh, take paramotoring to that kind of level because I think that that's like really where it's at is like just getting out there and camping with friends um, and adventuring. Um, but I think an Alaska trip for two weeks. I think an Alaska trip would be awesome. Thank you for all of the support. It's been amazing. I'm going to put some links uh, to Patreon, Team Fly Halo, um, the, the website for the shirts in the description. Um, and that'll be that. Thank you so much for all of that. Let's, uh, ready? Yeah, we're gonna hit the button. Hit it. This behind the scenes. And um, we're gonna, orientation is locked. We're gonna shut her down. <laughs>